Everybody's interested in something. And when you find what that is for you, don't let anything stop you from creating, doing, or fulfilling that interest. I personally don't understand people who claim that because they have not been given opportunities, they therefore shouldn't try. Opportunities are everywhere. I'm standing in a room where every person has a story, one which I could tell or retell through film. To the eye, we may have nothing in common, but together, we could create something new. Pinpoint a goal, go all out to reach it, see everything as an opportunity, and be ballsy. I was born into the stereotype of normal, the suburban house with the average 2.4 children. I went to the local primary school, and I was destined for the good secondary. It wasn't until my parents hit a midlife crisis and decided to emigrate from London to New Zealand that that began to differ. I was eight years old, and my perception on the world completely changed. I've got a confession. I am a theatre kid, and I would admit to being a little bit odd. But I was totally captivated when I got the chance to go on set of a major film being shot here in Auckland, when my brother was lucky enough to be cast in it. It was there that I fell for it, for the movie industry and the production of film. I was transfixed on how so many people could come together for one event, and breathe life into a story. The amount of talent taken to achieve this and the time put into it really did fascinate me. So I set myself a goal to become a renowned producer. And no, it's not happened yet. And no, I don't expect it to be just around the corner. But when you have a goal, nothing gets in your way. I set about making short films and adverts. I taught myself how to edit. And I went through the painstaking job of rendering on a slow computer. It was a little while later that I was set the task of a year-long school assignment. Not content with a 10-minute essay, I decided that this was my chance to take something to a whole new dimension. I decided that I would learn more about film. So, armed with basic camera equipment, I set about searching the web, and I made my own materials. After giving one guy the job of shooting one of my films, where all the footage turned out looking like it was in the middle of an earthquake, I decided I would build myself a camera stabilizer. It was a DIY effort, and it's made out of plumber's piping. But you can't laugh at it, because it really does work. Not only that year did I go on to make six short films, I was to write to over 105 top directors, producers, actors, and cinematographers. I joined the set of Shortcuts with South Seas Film and Television School. I won a scholarship to go to Frenchwoods in New York. I convinced John Key to be in one of my films. I won various awards, and I created my own film company, Fluffy Socks Films. People say this whole industry is who you know and not what you know. But this didn't happen because I already knew people. It happened because I put myself out there and I made it happen. Um, I searched online and I became a bit of a stalker, not the crazy obsessive type, but rather one who is an online web reader. So I found on sites like Wikipedia, Google, and crazed fan sites, I found my film heroes. And I, none of them went to a place called Frenchwoods Festival of Performing Arts. But I was also managed to contact a number of top film directors. Uh, George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, he parted with the wise words that I should look for inspiration through philosophy, history, and religion, that experience is the best teacher, and that, of course, may the force be with you. So, with that force, I took about and I made more friends through inspiring stories and outlook for Sunday conferences, through Youth Town and through the Auckland Museum making movies, where I met other young people that got the same buzz that giving a film gives to me. And I went all out with this, and I was never really content with taking no for an answer. So, when I got turned down or ignored, I found ways to overcome those problems. And when I came across Frenchwoods, I decided that I really wanted to go there. Impossible. Yes, to some, but absolutely, if you believe in yourself and see anything as possible. So, I did a bit more reading. I found out that they did scholarships. I applied and I was granted. And the only problem after that was that I needed a flight. And I tried. I went for so many scholarships and grants. But I was turned down for most. And it wasn't until I was finally backed by their Prime Minister, John Key, that I was able to, in the following months, jet off solo to New York where over 3,000 youth meet every year with a common interest of performing arts. If I wanted to create a film, 
I had actors and I had tutors already there at the ready. And although this was the end of a year-long school assignment, it wasn't the end. See, as Claudia Batten always says, life needs momentum, and when you have that, you keep going. Every film I make leads me into something new. It teaches me about an area that I often knew little about previously. You have to dive deep to find the unexpected, and it applies to so many walks of life as well. The more people that know what you do, the more chances that you're going to get opportunities given to you. So get yourself known and get your interests known by all the people around you. You've got to remember to think big, and sometimes that means staying up till 3 a.m. in the morning. But if that's what it takes, it's going to be worth it. Now, my next adventure is creating adverts for businesses. It's increasing my portfolio with adverts and short films. It's from there to earn enough cash to build my stash of camera equipment, and then to go on to pay my way through uni studying film. And I hope to one day earn an award in the industry that, at the moment, can only be seen as a dream. But we all have to start somewhere, and as I said before, it's never going to happen overnight. So whatever you're interested in, you're most likely to thrive in. So look wide, and even when you think you're looking wide, look wider still, and just. Be ballsy. Thank you.